<laughs> hey, how you guys doing today? So here we are. We're over here at Overkill Performance at the shop. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna dial in last minute things that we need to do to this engine. So here's the stage that we're at now. As you can see, the coil packs need to be plugged in. Um, the wiring harness for this side and that side need to be plugged in. Um, oil filter needs to be installed. Oil needs to be uh, put in the engine along with coolant. Um, and we have 15 gallons of E85, as you can see down there. Show up. Yeah, boom, there you go. We got the E85, so once we get that all dialed in, uh, we're gonna test the system for uh, leaks. And uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna have to get the car jacked up because as you can see, look at all these lifts. Man, they are busy. They are working. So we have no lift, but we have the trusty Pittsburgh jack stand. Check it out, the Harbor Freight Special. So we'll get this car jacked up. Um, I also have the jack stands with me. We'll get that. We'll get underneath it, and we'll get this car uh, all dialed in. Let's go. want to zoom in here you can see it turning right there so they see exactly there you go okay Cut. adapter piece because the uh, fitting is touching the coil pack so I'm gonna add this fitting here on top of the valve cover and it's gonna raise it's gonna raise this fitting up to where it's out of the way of the coil pack you see what I'm saying so here we go Yep. It's in. That's it. That'll work. So these things are a pain in the butt. They didn't want to plug in. That's why I'm doing them all separate up here. Because it takes a little bit of dangling to get them in. There we go. Remember Action Jackson, remember? Oh yeah. The dude that fought uh, Rocky Balboa. Oh, Rocky Balboa. Uh, well, there's no light down there, so I can't tell. Yeah, it gets red. <laughs> Orange. Blood. Blood fire. Uh, okay, stop. Oh. Yeah, so here's the, um, this is the third, the third jug we're, we're putting in the car. It's probably just about full, so. We shall see. Oh, yep. Uh oh. See how you hear it dripping? You overloaded. <laughs> Whoa. -oh. So now we'll now we'll probably call it call it quits. And then when we fire up the car and get when it starts getting hot, it's gonna hiccup. It's gonna burp. So then we'll add more after uh, we, we start the car up and let it get hot. So yeah, see in there, that's about the level you want it. See? Right there, all right. Great, now we're not gonna know where the, the leak is because it spilled, right? No one. So now it's gonna be dripping and shit for a while. Really? Mom? Yeah. All right guys, so we filled the coolant in the radiator and then all of a sudden, Bunch of water started coming out. Here's what we found. So show, them, show them the bottom. Show them down there all the coolant. See all that coolant? Yep, there it is. And here's the culprit. I don't know if they got so, You have no light. The original, the original heads, on the back of the head, they had a, a block off plate, right? And in the front of the head, we had a crossover, which is down here. Crossover, so out of this, Oh, one second. I got light already. See right there? And right, let me see here. <clears throat> right there. See it leaking right there coming out? That's where the freaking water's leaking out. So instead of getting a $12 freaking block off plate, which I, I should have did from the beginning, I had to use some $70 Earl's fitting, which is not even needed, but 
we got to make it happen. We got to get the car started. So that's the kind of stuff you got to do. We're probably at least a few hundred over what I wanted to spend today, but what's a few hundred when it comes to Maybe. countless thousands that we have building this damn car? <laughs> oh, Pop. <laughs> so once we get this thing blocked off and the water stop leaking, we're going to continue uh, with the startup. All right. Okay, guys, we're almost done with this. Um, we ran into a couple hiccups. We got it all dialed in. I just uh, cleaned all the coolant from underneath the car. Um, <clears throat> got the oil filter on there. Just had a look-see for anything that looked out of place, anything that looked loose. Um, I tightened up what needed to be tightened. I moved some hoses out the way so they didn't interfere with the lower pulley. And now we're, uh, we're about to fill this up. We're about to fill it up with some, um, this was recommended. Oh, okay. BR40 recommended braking oil from LME. This is what they want me to use. After this, we're gonna run a Amzol, Amzol Z-Rod, uh, high zinc content, and I think it's a 1040. They said run 1040 or 2050, so either one. So we're we're almost there, guys. We are almost there. This is a, the moment that we have all been waiting for. I've been waiting for the last freaking year, 12 months. Here we go start of it. Dang, this is thick. Alright, that's one. This is 1040, but man, it's thick. Nice looking model. It's got a good color to it. This is formulated for breaking, breaking in the motor. Man, I can't believe they hit me with that surprise. Taking off those freaking, those rear uh, coolant freaking blocks. What do you call it? Freaking. Call GR and be like, hey man, why didn't you tell me you took the, those freaking blocks off, dude? That shit cost me freaking uh, 80 bucks. You owe me 80 bucks. <laughs> Not only that, two hours of time. Yeah, two hours of just sitting there. Dang, look at all the leftover oil. I should be leaving these in there for a minute, huh? So, that's how much oil we put in. We put in eight quarts of uh, BR40 breaking oil, and uh, we're ready to go. I'm gonna get this cap shut down, and uh, I mean, that's it, guys. Once we get this thing screwed down, oil cap, um, we can fire it up and check for leaks. Um, oh, you know what, I didn't even show them. Show them, let's, let's see, show them this uh, fuel regulator up here. This is pretty cool. Look in here. The fuel regulator's in that, right behind the uh, air tray. See that? Mm. That's tucked away real nice. So I just gotta get an elbow on that gauge so it's actually pointed up so I can see it. And um, yeah, I mean, everything's pretty much tucked away. I mean, it looks pretty good, right guys? Um, I mean, the new catch can, this thing sets it off a million times. It looks so freaking good. It was a uh, money well spent, that's for sure. Um, I had to do it with my Mighty Mouse catch can. It was just, the way I had to route the wires, it just didn't look professional at all. So um, I spent the extra coin and got this bad boy and uh, I don't regret it. it. Looks freaking awesome. Yeah. All right. You guys ready to do it? You guys ready to start this bad boy up? <laughs> Let's go. I just uh, wanted to show you this real quick. We're getting ready to fire up. Um, freaking the, here is the, there's the fuel hat. I mean, man, that thing is looking good. Wires all ran out to the trunk. But man, yeah, that's pretty freaking sick. They did a hell of a job. They got it all labeled and then over here, the wiring's looking clean. There's the wiring coming down and around. 
And then here's the, uh, oops, here's the FC3 box right there. So yeah, he did a hell of a job. Sit down and plug in this HP tuners. You're tuning the car. What? Yeah, the panels? Yeah, the panels, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Woo hoo! It feels so good. Oh yeah, I don't know. I don't know where the heck this thing is. Man, I gotta look for it. I, and I can't find it at home either, so I don't know what happened to it. Action. You wanna say something to the camera? Pray to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. <laughs> Pray to the Lord. All right, hold on. 2015, let me load, connect the vehicle. Turn the key. Fuel pump's on. Yeah, connect it to the ZL1 Camaro. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna record it, fuck it. <laughs> I'm scared. I knew that would happen. We gonna get it, we gonna get it. Damn, that thing is dead. The fuel pumps are not coming on. We're gonna get it going. So, it's been a long time, guys. It's been a long time, but we're gonna get it going. I, I don't have these plugged in. I don't have this plugged in, so we don't need it right now. <laughs> oh yeah, it's going to come to life, baby. Yeah, I can look Alright, hold on. 2015, let me load, connect vehicle. Trying to see. Yeah, Fuel well. pump's on. Yeah. Good It's turning. It's turning over? Yeah. The owner of LME, he said it's gonna be a clapper. I told him I want to hear gorillas in the mist. He was like, "Yep." All right, here we go. <laughs> Woo! 
No, hey, there's no dripping inside the engine bay. What? No dripping in the engine bay, Pop. Dripping in the engine bay. Uh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Hey, hey, you have? Do you have a freaking fire extinguisher? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fine. That's all we need. We got a hose right here. I'm not sure if you wanted me to keep filming. Okay. Hooking up the battery charger. Giving it some more power. Okay, so it's on. Alright. Ready? Yeah, give it a second. Alright, you got to go. It might be because you got to tilt it like this. Uh, I try to turn on the killer chiller. 